Subscribe to join us as we share our life on the sea. This week we are back at one of our favourite places, the Wyag Islands in Raja Ampat. And I'm pretty sure after watching this video, you'll see why we love it here so much. arrived in Wyag and we've met up with this lovely boat Bojangles and um, they've come from Australia about two months ago. They contacted us before they left and said would you like anything and uh, <laughs> yes we are we did so we're just coming aboard to to collect our things which is very exciting and we're very very grateful. John and Andrea are down there. Woo! Oh gosh. <laughs> You'll be happy to see it gone. You'll be like, oh I got I some space. <laughs> I got some space again. This is the lovely Andrea and this is John and they very kindly brought us things. We're very, very happy. <laughs> the special bag. <laughs> what are you missing when you come to Indonesia? <laughs> oh good undies. <laughs> so we'll go through these bags because it probably is on everybody's mind. What is it that you'd they ask for when you are in Indonesia and um, so this is the answer. Your, your attachment, your things are put in there so they didn't get lost, you know, your joiners. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah no yeah. worries. Yes, thank awesome. you. Awesome. There's the two fans. Yes. You can go through Very it. cool. It's all, <laughs> it's all very exciting. <laughs> it is very exciting. Yeah, oh, and thank you great. again guys. That was so very nice of you. This is what Lee's been hanging out for. These are actually, they're actually my favourite chocolates. Just been, minutes, right? just been to all us. So we haven't been able to stock up Catalfa with any Australian goodies for quite a while now. And this is some of the stuff that John and Andrea bought over from Australia for us, which was very kind and we very much appreciated it. And uh, yeah, this is what we got. Okay. Some of the things that we got might seem a little bit strange and you're like, so you can't wash your dishes or do your laundry in Indonesia? Well, you can. These are just some of the things that are in Australia that we were used to and just like little things that we really like because you know you get used to a certain way of living and you really like those little things so this is some dishwashing detergent and laundry detergent that we used to use in australia that was our favorite some sunscreen then we have some shampoo and conditioner a fan because it's so hot in indonesia some quinoa because you can't get quinoa in indonesia so if you're coming there oh and then of course some mint balls and bullets Alan's lollies, summer rolls, so we got a couple bags of those, some pine nuts, taco seasoning, some rosehip oil for mum's face, some vanilla bean paste, all oh, this stuff is so good for cooking with, it is just delicious, some Grant's toothpaste, oh and of course some undies, so a new GoPro so we can show you even more epic stuff, GoPro housing, what you can't get that in Indonesia? Well most of the things you could probably find but they're either super expensive and ridiculously priced or they're just like are just different. Came over to the beach to have a little stretch and there's the cutest tiniest little sharks. Oh my gosh they're so cute! I gotta show you. Hopefully they haven't seen there. There's one there. As you can see, I'm going to try and get closer. Three of them hanging around this one area this whole morning, and I go get the camera and they disappear. They're so cute, they're so little. Baby shark, do 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 do, baby shark. Come on, sharkies. Oh, well. Oh, hopefully, you guys can see it. It's so cute. Oh, there's another one coming in. Oh, they just didn't like me in the water. A 
Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. There are so many sharks here, it's crazy. But they don't worry about us, so we don't worry about them. Well, maybe except for this one. Oh, oh here comes one. He's coming in hot. Coming in real hot towards you. Look at that. Look, look, look. Oh, he's freaked out. Always a good place to scrub the bottom, and well, it's an excellent place to explore. One of my favourite places and my favourite person to backflip with. I love backflipping off that place so much. I miss it. There's no one like you, my little girl. Most of our time spent here was in the water. Snorkeling, backflipping into the water, diving. Like, everything was revolved around the water. The water here is so beautiful. Like, you have to be in it 24-7. Soon you're on your way. Promise me that you know. The world is yours. Strike them with your glow Go on now, be good, be fine Live your life, dream big, don't forget to be kind Days like these, I will never forget. Watching this video, I am so grateful for the life that we live. I love going to all these beautiful places and it is just amazing. The places that we have seen and like the things that we've got to do is just amazing. Overgrown. You know where to go if you follow that. Step at a time We all play our part Go on now Be good Be fine Live your life Dream big, don't forget To be kind Live, it's your life Go on Andrea, John and Tony were heading off today. It was so nice to meet you all and I'm sure our paths will cross again pretty soon. Until then, fair winds. One of my favourite things to do in Wyag, not surprisingly, was rock climbing. It was really fun and the walls here are really great. And the funnest part is that after you get to the top, you don't have to climb back down. You can jump straight into the water. You just have to be careful where you choose to climb because it may be shallow, so... You don't want to jump in too shallow of water, which is a great thing about here is all of the rock faces are mainly in like deep water. So that's so great. And then you jump off and then you go and you're like, oh my gosh, look over there. It's a manta ray. Like, how could this place get any better? Is it right? It's right in front of you, isn't it? Oh, yeah. See the waves on top of the water. <laughs> I love this mask. It's super cool. <laughs> Yeah, I like that mask too, Mum. You look very cool.
Oh my gosh, these puppies are so cute. I wanted to take them home. But um, yeah, dad said no, so that was very sad. Comment down below if you think we should get a dog. Us girls went on a final hike to say goodbye to this magical place. These islands will forever hold so many wonderful memories and I can't wait to come back here one day. But for now, sailing away one last time as we make our way south. wondering to yourself, Lee looks a little bit odd and you can't figure out why. Well, I'll fill you in on what it is. It's his nomo. What's a nomo you ask? Well, it's what he does when he's going spearfishing and he can't be bothered to shave his whole face. But he doesn't want his mask to leak, so he just shaves off his mo. Matt and him reckon that they are going to start a new trend, but I don't think it's going to catch on. What do you reckon? Let us know down below, yes or no for the NOMO. The rain continued until we dropped the anchor at a little island called Coffee Owl. These are our mackerel sushi bowls. Homemade mayonnaise, avocado, cucumber and uh, teriyaki mackerel. Okay. Uh, so we uh, left Coffee Owl, a little island we stopped at last night. We just pretty much dropped the anchor, had a sleep and left this morning, not too early but headed off now we're going 30 miles to the top of Missoul so we were thinking we'd be there in about six hours but we've come out and there's a big storm and we're going 
1.7 knots. <laughs> We're hoping after the storm passes we may have a little bit of wind to sail, but we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, yeah, we got about 20, 25 knots. What is it now? 25. 25 knots on the nose. Beautiful day of sailing. How's it looking, Captain? <laughs> Lovely, beautiful weather. This is what we love. Never judge a day by the weather, guys. Oh, we picked just up get the wet weather gear out. We That's picked up reckon. speed. We picked up speed. We're going two and a half knots. <laughs> yep. All right, we'll see how we go. We may be turning around. Don't go to weather. <laughs> Don't go. Far uh, from a gentleman. <laughs> oh god. All right. Anyway, we're leaving Coffee Out and we're heading to the top of Masul where we haven't been. Hopefully it goes a little bit better than what it is right now. <laughs> I might just hop out of the rain for a minute, eh? Come on in here, Captain. This is Mum's impression of Dad when he's at the helm. I need you at the front end like some food and can you clean up downstairs before I come down thank you. I need something sweet. Can you find me something sweet? Sometimes you just gotta look what what's in front of you, darling. For half an hour till we're in the anchorage and I need you off the front. Why? I half can't an hour. see back here, I need eyes up the front. There might be bombies, it could be anything, we could run over things. I haven't finished my movie yet. We need to pull the sails down, we need the sails down, we need to get ready. I was thinking of cooking up some get dessert. Ready. We're doing do you everyone want... get ready! We're do you... coming in! What do you want for dinner? Thanks everyone for watching. As always, if you like that video, please remember to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We'll see you next week. Bye.